or my expectations are like to generally put it um, to network, to get to know uh, new colleagues. Of course, also meet those whom I know already, but to get to know um, new colleagues, um, to connect between the different working groups. So I'm in one working group um, of the SNRD, but my expectation is also to build bridges between the working groups um, and exchange um, cross-sectorally, so to say. Um, and then also I'm looking very much forward for the technical sessions that we will have um, and to di dive deeper on several um, of the topics uh, that are presented here in the technical sessions. The added value I'm expecting, I'm a, a planning officer in, in headquarters, so it's always, um, it's always important to know what's happening uh, on the ground, to know who does what, which approaches exist in which countries. Um, because you will have then um, appraisal missions, so con conceptualize uh, new projects um, and you need to know what's going on, you need an overview of tools um, and I'm hoping to get um, an understanding and exchanges on these concrete um, tools and approaches that are um, happening on the ground and that could be used for project conceptualizations. So um, if I think about my own added value, uh, what comes to mind first and what I realized now um, on the first day, um, as a planning officer, um, you have exposure to a lot of projects. So you work for and on several projects and you uh, get to know people and what they do. Um, so you are kind of a bit, or you, you can at least be something like the spider in the net, so to say, um, and use that to, to connect people. So just to give an example, I had a I had an exchange with a colleague, he was um, interested in some ICT solutions, which I'm not an expert at all, but at least I co could tell him, okay, look, there's this project and they did that, uh, talk to this person and there's this project, uh, this person, so talk to him or her. So to connect people, um, I think that's even more important than the technical contribution one can bring. Um, I will have a session in the afternoon with a technical contribution, but I see the added value much more in that connecting people and providing them with information and contacts um, on things they need to know. How about artificial intelligence and knowledge management? Um, any, any signs on the horizon? So, yeah, artificial intelligence and knowledge management, I think it's a very interesting topic. Uh, we discussed in our working group that problem of knowledge management or the challenges we face within knowledge management. Um, there are some discussions in headquarters, but to be honest, I'm not really into it, so I can't tell a lot. Um, I think it can be something promising, but there are also already very more basic things to still do, like um, you, as of now, you have like kind of a database, these, these, let's call it a database, these yeah. topics, you can put up a lot of stuff, um, but then the search engine is not really good. So it's not like with Google that you easily find things, but the search function is really bad and, and that blocks a lot of the, um, of the find, a search and find um, within the knowledge management. I don't know whether artificial intelligence already is in that topic of search engines. I suppose yes, um, but that's uh, certainly a hot topic.